Hello everyone, just Gordon here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video. Today we are wrapping up the Arid Animal Pack with both the Somali Wild Ass as well as the Sandcat. I put them into one video because I don't really have that much to show for either of them, only one habitat each and they're both not the most amazing things in the world. So yeah, we are starting over here uh, as we have been with the Somali Wild Ass at Plunkendal. Uh, they have this lovely little yard over here. Well, I say lovely, it's just some grass with some logs and all the way in the back we can see the Somali Wild Ass's ass. Uh, I already made that joke, but I'm just gonna repeat it because it's all I have. So, <laughs> so yeah, that is uh, that's pretty much all we got to show for the Somali Wild Ass. At least I've seen the Somali Wild Ass. We are now going to move to the Sand Cat, which I haven't even seen. We are at the Zoo of Wuppertal, and yeah, this is the small cat house or the Kleinkatzenhause. Or cats and house, I, I don't know German. Um, <laughs> and yeah, this is very obviously a very old building which used to have many different species of small cats. And I'm very glad that they don't anymore because these areas, like on their own, are not that big or impressive or great welfare wise. Um, but as you can tell, hopefully. Um, Pretty much, there are two habitats now, so all these doors in between them have been opened up, so the sand cat can get all over the place wherever they want, pretty much. Um, only in the middle there's a closed door, probably to keep the male from the female or something like that. Um, so yeah, those were the outdoor habitats, but we're also going to go inside, just gonna have a quick look at the backstage, there you go. Always interesting, there really isn't that much to see. Um, but yeah, it is geöffnet. Th that was literally the worst pronunciation of that word possible. Um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, welcome to the inside. We have lots of pipes and the enclosures, and yeah, it's all very, uh, very old, very practical for the zookeepers. I want to say, um, yeah. I mean, there's not that much to say, right? You got some climbing. You got a lot of hides, lots of shelter bits for the sand cats, some simple education. Um, but yeah, it's clear why I didn't see them because they have so many places to hide. It was also winter, so they were probably just resting, just uh, being cold. So yeah, also some more lush exhibits with some mulch on the ground. I really wonder where the sand cat was. I do hope to go back to Wuppertal sometime. I don't think I'll be able to do it this summer, uh, but I would love to because it is such a beautiful zoo. Uh, just like landscape wise. I feel like they have a lot to be improved in terms of habitats. But wait a second, there's a fucking sand cat over there. I am so blind. I've seen sand cats. <laughs> I have looked for this food just like five times. <laughs> it's just right there. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, that was the sand cat. I didn't notice them when I was at the zoo, I think. And that's why I never bothered to record them. Well, that was a fun way to end this video. <laughs> I'm not even going to re-record this. That was hilarious. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next Plan Zoo Real Life Inspiration video. We're going to continue with the animals just A for Z. And next up is the African Buffalo. So I hope you look forward to that. And uh, yeah, see you then. Bye bye.